In this video, we are going to see how to install GNU Emacs, this lovely editor here. But that's not all. We're going to add the Space Max configuration. This is the text editor I'm using. So Emacs is a very configurable text editor for programming, for writing, for all sorts of things. And Space Max is a distribution. It's a configuration that a large community of developer is creating together to make Emacs a lot more, we could say accessible, I would say modern and feature complete without having to configure it yourself from scratch. So first, you'll want to download Emacs. I have it on my computer. You can look up the instructions on Windows, Mac. If you are on GNU Linux, you can do something like sudo apt install emacs. I have it here, so it's not going to do anything. Then you'll want to install space max. So uh, if you launch emacs at that point, you will get something like that. The colors might not be the same on your computer. The reason is because I'm on Linux, I have some colors that the system reuses for multiple applications. For example, if I fire the shell, you will see it the same background color. It's a global configuration on my system. So I'm going to quit that. Just note that when you do that, Emacs will create a configuration directory. And Space Max, you will want to override that configuration directory with it. So on the Space Max website, you go to install and you will see you need to clone the repository. Space Max, like many free and open source projects, is developed on GitHub. So you will need Git to download all the data, the entire project. The reason you are using Git for that is because anytime from the command line, you can update to the latest changes that the community of developers have made. So every week, every month, whenever you want. This makes it so you can continuously get fixes and improvements as people add them to Space Max. You don't have to wait for stable releases. If you don't have Git, I invite you to look it up how to install Git. You will find lots of tutorials about that. So I'm going to copy this command and we'll have to remove that Emacs directory. To do so, you can look for your user directory. This is my home directory here. On Linux, you have to press Ctrl H to show hidden files, and then you have to remove that .emacs.d directory. You can do it from the shell as rm-recursive, the dash r, and you want to start at the home or user directory slash .emacs.d. Remove that. From there, you can clone the repository and it will go in this emacs.d folder. I'm going to press enter and skip ahead, let it download. Once you are done, you can start emacs and that's all you have to do to install space max and you will see space max here. Allow me to make it big. First, space max will ask you for a question which editing style you want to use. So I'm working with the Vim style. This is the default, but you could also work with the Emacs key bindings. I invite you to choose Vim. You can also pick the standard distribution. So it comes with a variety of features, or you can start with a really lightweight distribution that you can configure from scratch if you are a more advanced user. If you want to use the standard one, most likely to get started. Then it will ask you which framework you want to use for completion. Emacs, just like Linux, is very modular. So you can pick the lighter, more minimalistic tools if you want, or you can choose the heavier, maybe a bit more user-friendly or feature-rich ones. I'm using Helm personally. IV is also nice, but Helm works really well. That's the default, so you can go with that. And once you press enter, then Space Max will automatically download all the plugins it needs to work. Emacs works with a lot of plugins that it calls packages. It's really similar to all the dependencies you would have on Linux or when you are developing software or on the web with NPM. 
you have lots of packages that are very good at doing one thing and Emacs delegates work to them. This is where you should find yourself after you finish downloading the packages. You will find some quick help to help you navigate Space Max. Note that I went ahead and changed the default font size for the video. If you've never used VI key bindings, navigating with HJKL, you'll want to learn that. You can do so by typing colon, you will see your cursor jump to the bottom of the screen and you want to type evil. Evil is Vim emulation in Emacs. Dash tutor, you can press tab at any point to autocomplete the command and see all the commands that you can use. So tutor start and you press enter and this will take you to a tutorial where you can learn about how to use the evil state and there are some exercises along the way. To return to the home buffer, you press space, B for buffer and H for home. You will find a lot of key bindings like these in Space Max. You start with the space bar if you are using Vim or you can always press Alt M if you are using the Emacs mode, the Emacs style, space, and then you will have mnemonic keys to go to different categories. For example, space H for help, and from there you have commands related to help. You will also find the evil tutor start command down there. One of the first places you'll want to go is the main configuration. To do so, go to space F for files, E for Emacs or Space Max and D for dot file, space F E D. It means go to your configuration file. You will see a file like that that is really well documented. So you want to learn it all. The entire point of using Emacs and Space Max is to fine tune your editor so that it works exactly the way you want and the way that's most comfortable for you. Emacs is sometimes called the editor for hackers, for people who like to tinker with a tool. So you'll want to read it and it's very well explained and detailed. The first block, the .spacemax slash layers, is the main feature that Spacemax brings you that's really convenient. You have sets of packages that work together that are configured by other developers as layers. To activate them, you want to go to dot space max configuration layers and to add the list of layers you want to use in this list. So by default, you will have two. Normally you will have Helm if you chose Helm for auto completion or you might have IV if you chose IV. And then you have commented suggested layers that are very common. Git will bring the wonderful Magit tool in Emacs, which is one of the big selling points for this text editor, along with org mode, which is amazing as well, which is a complete organization tool that can handle your agenda, your contacts for emails, lots of things. You can add an email client in Emacs with the mu4e layer. In Space Max, you can remove the comments by going space and then semicolon, semicolon because as you can see, that's the way you type comments in Lisp, the language that the bulk of Emacs is written in. And if you are interested, I can make tutorials about specific groups of features or layers in the future. But to get started, you can find all the layers and their documentation by doing space H for help and L for layers, space HL. And from there, you can navigate the list with Control N, Control P to go to the next and previous entry. When you type enter, this will open a page that describes the layer. So for most languages, the layer is the language's name. Like Python for Python, you will have JavaScript for JavaScript, Java for Java, C, C++, those kinds of things. But you will find other layers. For example, you have auto hotkey, auto completion, you will find you will find layers for specific language support like Chinese. There are some I use, like for example, Ranger. Ranger is this file manager that I use quite a bit here, which is entirely Vim based and and that's very configurable. So you can have it inside of Emacs as well. So you'll want to read up on these 
one after the other. Then if I go down to the configuration, you will see lots of variables that allow you to modify the main look and feel of Emacs. So it starts with some defaults as to how it's going to uh, work. For example, the editing style here, it's Vim or Emacs. It's what you chose at the very start. Uh, you will find the default font really important. That's where I went to change the font size. And note that at any time you can press the slash key to search for anything. For example, I can type slash font, press enter, then I can find all the places where there's the word font by pressing N to go to the next search result. These are Vim key bindings, by the way. To save the file, you can use the same commands as in VI, so colon W for write to write the file, or you can do colon WQ to write the file and quit the editor. Then you can do also space F and S. So save the file, space file save, and space F capital S to save all the open buffers, all the files. From there, there's one thing I want us to change right now. Spacemax is using the latest stable version. Once you download it from GitHub, when you clone the repository, it will do that. I don't recommend using that. You can use the work in progress development version and get rolling releases for the latest changes from time to time. So I'm going to quit Spacemax, space Q to go to the quit category and Q to prompt quit. Then I invite you to go to your file browser and unhide the hidden folders, you want to find .emacs.d. So it will be in your user directory if you are on Windows. Go in there and you want to open it in the command line. I can open Tilex directly with a right click in my file manager. From there, you want to go to the develop branch. Git checkout and go to the develop branch. So then it's going to track the develop branch from the original server on GitHub. And anytime you can come to this folder and do a git pull to update to the latest changes. As we freshly downloaded the configuration, it's not going to download any more files, but in the future, you can use that to update Spacemax. Okay, so I'm going to quit here, reopen Emacs. It will download new packages, as you will see, uh, quite a few actually, because there's been a lot of work since the last stable version and it's a lot better right now. So I'm going to skip ahead once more. This is where you will end up after all the packages finished updating. At this point, I recommend that you check out the documentation. So you can tab to jump between the buttons and press enter to open the docs in your web browser. There you will find a quick intro to Spacemax and you will slowly find more information, more articles and links to check out more aspects of the editor. You can also press space H again and you can type space again, so the help for Spacemax. And there you will find the Spacemax documentation, the same link the documentation button led you to. Vim users migration guide, if you've been using Vim before, a quick start guide specific to Spacemax, frequently asked questions, and you will find some beginner's tutorial down there. Under that, you will find all the layer information. So every time you want to use a new layer, just like with any editor, if you start using a plugin, you want to read their docs. For example, I'm a Python user, so I installed Python. I'm going to press enter, you will see can then open the entire docs right in Spacemax and you can at any time in the future as you get more comfortable with the tool you can also have the docs open along with another buffer or document that you can work on one side and jump to the documentation on the other side. That's one of the advantages of having all the docs built into the tool. Before we leave one another, the last thing I want to mention is press space and start reading what you see in there to discover new features. So everything that has to do with 
managing files, for example, is in the space F, and you will find a few ways to delete files, to find files, etc. Every time you see Helm in front of a function name, it means that it's going to give you fuzzy completion. If I jump to a given project or file and type space FF, Emacs will offer me to find files in the current directory. So I can start typing, for example, git to filter to the git folder, github and git ignore ones. I'm in the space max configuration folders dot emacs dot D where we installed space max. I can do space PF to find files in the project. So space P for project and F to find files and then you can find files in an entire project with all its subfolders any git or vcs repository that's it for this tutorial i assume that if you watch this you are already interested in space max you knew what you were getting into i invite you to watch our other screencasts if you want to learn more there's some coming on org mode and maggot and we'll cover some more ground in the future. But for now, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.